Hoagie! Hoagie! Oh! Hi, Deb. How you been, Zeb? How are things doing in these parts? Can't complain. Did you bring me all the stuff I asked you for last time? Yes, every little thing, including the seed and the Alhambra chewing tobacco. Mm, well, the important thing is this here barbed wire. I got a passenger in back there. Just don't let on I said it. I've been offered $10 to take him with me to Big Lake City. But the law will pay $5,000 for him. You'd be smarter to collect it on him. Well, I'll fetch you a money, Hoagie. I'll take back the ten dollars with interest, you Judas. <laughs> Whiskey's the worst rock gut in Texas. I sure it's rock gut. You all can't appreciate no other liquor because somehow you always come back to it. But I know down at Angie's they sell bourbon. You all think it's bourbon. At Angie's they pick you like a chicken. You're telling me. And Uncle Pinch eat bad and drink bad, but it's cheap. Don't lie about the vittles here. I cook better than any other cook in the Army of Northern Virginia. Yes, sir. General Johnston, the winner of Bull Run. First of all... Get to the point. Your yawns are longer than my beard, and we've heard them all. 
Ah, boy, is it bull run rotting out of them gall darn Yankees because I made them eat a mess of my poor kitlings. And then the general hollered, Y'all chop! <laughs> Stop that, sir. Honorable customers are waiting for me. Well, let them wait. Please don't. I've got to go in now. Martha! Who was keeping you, gal? I'll be fired on your account. I'll be back. When supper's over. What's keeping her in the kitchen, sir? Albo? <laughs> Martha's not fast enough, hombre. Calm yourself, Sir Albo. I was just fooling. <laughs> Uncle Pink, why do you call that pig Hooker? Because I call all of my hogs after names of Yank generals. It's better that way. They understand. I'll call my next piglet Sherman or Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Got a room I can bed down in? There's one. What's that? Why, well, you know they're all empty. In Uncle Pink's place, coyotes wouldn't use the bed. Ah, oh, that ain't true. Don't listen to what he says. How long you staying? Don't rightly know yet. But what's it to you when I leave? Hmm. Tommy, show the gentleman to his room, please. Senor, let me... No. No. Too heavy for you. This way. That's not the kind of customer you get rich off of, Pink. Hmm? I'll tell you what General Beauregard said to me. Always trust old folk until they up and die on you. That way you last longer. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say your name is, son? Tommy, senor. I reckon visiting strangers are few and far between out here. Just people going into the desert or coming out of it. Well. Would you like to make some real money? Yes. All right, if you see any strangers around, you can get yourself a quarter of a dollar, if you tell me. There's one I'll pay you a dollar on, so watch close. The man's one of those half-breeds. Got a patch on his right eye. Patch, senor? That's right. Listen, Tommy, I want all my food set up here. You bring it, no one else is to come up. You can count on me, sir. Well, then, you can go fetch a pitcher of hot water and a bottle of whiskey. Fast. Yes, senor. Right away, senor. tan buenos tengo yo. Qué bien te portaste. Hola, guapa. do you tell that to? Ah, look what I got for you. 
Mira. Oh, Chase Guido. Put them on. I want to see them. Right here? Oh, no. <laughs> Come inside. I'll fix you some breakfast. <laughs> Here's your order, senor. Put it there. That fellow just come now. Who is he? It's, it's, it's Chasquito, a wagon master. He's got an iron hand. Still, there isn't a better guide in the whole West. Wagon master, huh? Martha! The boy who sticks his nose in everybody's business. One of these days, I'm going to cut it off. But I didn't know. Marta, where's Uncle Pink? In the barn. You better hurry. He's going into town. Oh, you, Martita. Mm -hmm. After I take a bath. Now I'm very hungry. Get me something to eat. <laughs> Please. Hey, wait a minute. That's my own hand. I didn't feel it. you're gonna want to boss a wagon train over the Sierra Blanca. Sierra Blanca? $2,000. That's a hell of a place. Why do you want to go there? I'll fork up $5,000 if there's no questions. For $5,000, I take you to China. And I won't even ask your name. Buena, senor. But I won't pay you off till we get where we're going. When we arrive, ah. Oye, you up, huh? What is it, Judge Guido? Will you go to bed with me for a hundred dollars? A hundred dollars? Silly. <laughs> you mind if I pay you when I come back from Sierra Blanca? But you told me it's bad not to trust a friend, but to trust a friend is bad, too. Didn't you? Ya ves, viejo panzón. Píntate. And what do you want? Uncle Pink, can I have an apple? I reckon. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, come on now, hurry up. Come on, get a move Just on. Just a minute, Uncle Pink. Is that everything? Oh, there, that's it, son. Thanks, uh -huh. Mr. Graham. That's fine. <gasps> Watch it! What? <gasps> and a backer, and some information. What kind? I'd like to talk to someone. A traveling man named Bob Ford. <laughs> Made it here a lot faster than I expected. But you'll never find it. Never. Thought he'd outfox me and get my treasure, eh? Oh, Bob's too smart for him. Too smart for them all. I got my treasure right here. A mountain of solid gold. Got to find somewhere to hide this thing. Where? Yeah. 
you got no work, find some. Who you suppose shot the poor soul? Who is he? Mescal. One of Butch's men. You mean Pedro Butch? I ain't met him, that's sure. You better watch out. If Butch finds Mescal's body here, he'll come after you. But, but none of us shot. So who did and why? Why don't you ask the fat man? You got to get rid of that body. I can do it for you. You're a friend, Ted Guido. <laughs> $100. I get rid of him. No, no, that's too much. All right. $50. Well, I get this proposition now, Chess Guido. I'll stand you month free vittles of the best cooking for miles around. A beautiful gal to dish it out, huh? I know, but... I'll even help you load him in your wagon. And don't you ask for nothing more, you blackmailer. There ain't nobody can resist my cooking. Look what it done for the Army of Northern Virginia, huh? Ah! Ah! Use your common sense if you got any. Don't tell me you can't remember that, hombre. I saw no one like that. I swear I didn't. As if I believe your story. But to help you remember, he rode the right horse. He came here. You know it, old-timer. No, he didn't. I swear. I'll bet you have a rumor named Bob Ford. Or maybe you know him better as Colonel Ford. Well, not that I know. Get busy and find him. Vamos, arriba. You try in there. Ah, she's empty. No one. Lavenous. Ah! 
Oye, Pedro. Yeah, Bob Ford. Just out of luck. Why didn't he wait ten more minutes to die? Look for it. Nada, no tiene nada. Madre de Dios. Turn the place upside down. Search everywhere. Yeah. Up there. No. Wait for me. You dirty thing. Let me go. You haven't heard of Colonel Ford. No. Inside. You and I are going to have a little talk. Tell me who else is here. No one else, I swear. Oh. Tell me who else is. I break your neck. Oh. I told you about everybody. What about the man we want? Oh. What about the one-eyed one, eh? Oh. We search upstairs, there's nothing. Oh. Tell me where it is. I don't know anything. Tell me. Tell me. I don't know. The kid! You know where it is. Speak up. I know. No. Not the young one. No. I don't know. Habla. Habla. Anything. Habla, guapa. You want to save the boy? <laughs> uh, catch him, go. <laughs> uh, come back here. <laughs> Smash the whole house! Help me with her, please. Leave her. Vamos, muchachos. Vamos. But how about the gold? Now I promise you, if we don't get it, nobody else will. Teach those dead gum Yankees. I'll teach them a Easy, thing or Uncle two. Pink. You wait. Please, please. Just wait. Please. 
there, Uncle Pink. <laughs> I'll get them damn Yankees as sure as my name's Pink. <laughs> Uncle Pink, look! I'll make them pay for this. Tommy, come back here. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy, come back. Tommy, 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 come back here. Tommy's where the stranger stayed, in that window, where the light is. I know he's there. Hurry, help him. Fired at Marta. Huh? Put her in the wagon. Hey, give me a hand. Tommy, Tommy. Treasure. Where'd you put it? I've got it. Trust me. And don't tell anyone else, please. All right. Hey, come on, drag him out. Just Guido. Hey, what do we do with the fat man? What do you do with a dead man? Vamos. Vámonos. Vámonos pronto. Ready to go. What in thunderation possessed you to run back into that fire, son? Um, I went in to get the... Because, uh... For Martha, yes. Because I thought she was still in there. Lots of life in your saloon lately. If I hadn't let in that demon Bob Ford, now sent to glory, my place needn't have burned at all tonight. Who was he? What did he do? He was an ex-Confederate colonel. Confederate? I knowed it. I knowed that there was something upstanding about him. <laughs> On the contrary. He turned outlaw at the end of the war, one of the worst. They were going to hang him last month, but he broke jail in Sterling City. They say he killed a man who helped him to escape. With someone like him around your place, it's natural that outlaws would flock to it. Like flies to honey. It must have been very sweet honey. What about you? You one of the flies? Ah. Yeah. That man wanted the same thing. He wanted me to take him to Sierra Blanca. All right. Give me $5,000. 
I have no questions. All right. But I can't pay you till after the trip. What's the matter with you, Gringos? You always want to be at the end of a trip. I'll take a chance with you. But you better keep your word. Pinky, what are you cooking? Is that for you or for the horses? Well, this is one of my best dishes. It wouldn't appeal to anyone the likes of you. Ah, Marta, I wish you were here. How I long for some of your cooking. You want your pleasure, not grub. Why, you're so selfish you'd have forced her to drag along to she near drop and her with bullet holes in her body once more. Be careful, Gringo. I'll make you boil your tongue in that pig stew. No, oh, fiddlesticks. I'm cooked here so clear out. I'm not taking any more sass. There isn't a soldier alive who'd refuse this wonderful cooking. There you one. That's how you surprise the enemy. Now, if you want to kill him. You put her on his neck. And you pull. You just keep pulling. Do you understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that the kind of thing to teach a boy? Somebody was crazy to bring a boy on a trip like this. I want to teach him how to defend himself. He might have to. Remember our agreement. No questions. Si, senor. I remember. But don't you forget. Go on, boy. This desert's full of damn bandits. There's nothing they could want from us except horses, provisions. <laughs> around here, a man will kill you for a sack of tobacco. I better take a look around. Serralvo knows the way to Sierra Blanca. He'll take over while I'm gone. You better take this. My life, like yours, is in the hands of God. A pistol won't change my destiny.
You want a cup of coffee? You've been following us all over. Why? What the hell do you want? Nothing. Have I the big pleasure of meeting you like this, Charles Guido? When I saw one of your men, I knew you and I were on the same trail. You're an old coyote, but you can still smell a trail. <laughs> and especially if Bob Ford's goal happens to be at the other end. And would you say our friends are on that same trail? No? Hmm. I guess so. Say, uh... Say, I got a hell of an idea. To hell with them. You and I, why don't we split it 50-50? <laughs> you never knew how to count. I've got 20 men. But I'm the only one who will be there when the gold is found. I'm the only one they trust. What you're saying is not to kill now, because I don't know the trail? Yeah. What you should do, you should wait for us at Corvo Gulch when we come back with the gold. Then, we take it. Huh? Sure. Only listen to me. You're such a smart fellow. First, I must teach you some manners. And maybe you'll begin to see that I'm the one who is boss. Miguel! Miguel! Hold him! Remember, one thing, and that's this. I'll go along with you, only don't forget to come back. Guido, he'll never find us in this storm. <laughs> Just Guido is right at home in this kind of weather. <laughs> that sounds like his rifle. Give him an answering shot, Sir Alvo. time to get here. What happened to you? A rattlesnake scared my horse. I fell on the rocks. What shall we do, Chas Guido? This storm isn't getting any better. We take cover at the foot of the mountains. Serralvo, take care of the animal. Yeah! <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
you hurt yourself I'm all right my god what's that it sounds like an avalanche is blocked. We can't get to the valley of the case from here. I have to get there. I know you do, but we are not birds. We can fly over. Don't worry. I'll get you there. That's what I'm paying you for. You haven't paid me a damn cent yet. But you better, mister. If it's a question of price, I'll pay it, but blackmail, I... Blackmail? What do you mean? I don't like that. I know a man when I see one. But those ruffians out there are restless. I must convince them. You understand what I mean? 
if anybody refuses, he can start digging his own grave. Is that clear? Digging his own grave, huh? Don't tell that to me. You tell that to the others. And make no mistake, I am afraid of no man. You try to get me up that mountain, you got trouble. You would for $10,000, wouldn't you? Do you mean that? Maybe 20, maybe more. Come on, what's the story? Why do you think he wants to get to the Valley of the Caves? Because there's a treasure there. <laughs> Madre, I thought you were being serious. But this time is real. I know it. Uh, how do you figure to do it? I wait until I get the gold. Then I get rid of Pat, the old man, and the boy. Why don't you kill them right off and get it over with? Because I don't know who has the map. But I'll find out. Now we just wait. Paciencia, hombre. Paciencia. They mustn't find out that we know. You understand, Tommy? Our lives depend on it. Yes, Pat. Hola. What'd they say? I convinced them. Everything's all right. We leave the wagons here with a couple of men. We take only what is necessary. Thanks, yes, we do. We are friends. Bueno, vámonos. Let's get going. All of you, I want you to keep an eye on the wagon, so don't fall asleep. Don't worry. Follow him. Why, Pedro? He's a friend. Just about as much as a rattlesnake. Move, Miguel. Bueno. How's it going? Dandy, pink of condition. As a veteran of the Army of Virginia, I'm gonna teach you how to climb, boy. <laughs> Tired, boy? No. Come on! Come on, boys, come on. Come on! Just Guido is some slave driver. Come on. and ammunition. 
That leaves us with only one mule left. shove us off a mountain. What about the treasure? I found out about treasures. The more people there are, the less treasure for each. one and then the other. He fell. He must have broke a leg. I told you he was carrying too much. What do we do? Broken leg. Pity doesn't protect life around here. This does. Around here, a gun is a man's best friend. You better learn how to use it. Nothing like a good mule. <laughs> we ate this in Virginia. <laughs> uh, there's a good many things going to the cook stews. <laughs> we ate rats till we got scared of alley cats. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. when I was a little boy. A father? I never knew mine. 
My parents died when I was still a baby. Tommy. Excuse me. Have a drink. Gracias. But Pat, maybe he doesn't want to kill us. You heard it with your own ears. Keep alert, Tommy. Play the game. Just we to trust you. Going to move on again? Yes, it's about time. But where? We're in the valley of the caves where you wanted to go. Isn't there an abandoned mail station around here? Yeah. Beyond the rocks. You seem to know the land around here pretty well. You can tell your men that we're almost to the end of the trip. Oye, chico. Boy, listen to me. You're in trouble. The man know about the treasure. They are going to kill you to get the map. <laughs> there is a map, isn't there? I can help you, but you got to tell me everything. Trust me. I'm your friend. But you see, I... I... Come on. Tell me. Chasquito! Chasquito! <laughs> What's going on, Chesquito? The men have turned against us. Come on, let's go. Bill, Sid.
What's the matter? Just Guido is trying to cheat on us. He tries to get the map from the kid. I saw the whole thing. What do we do? Don't let him get away. I need that! You want to get killed? Cover me! Never gonna make the night through. Huh. We're in trouble. We're running out of ammunition. And only three men who can shoot. Only two men. I won't use a gun. Why not? You're a good shot. Better than any of them. What kind of a man are you? You won't even defend yourself. I promised a friend that I would never resort to violence. Hey, Chasquito! You better make up your mind, you might never get out of that place. Just hand us the map of the treasure if you don't want to be killed. We let you go when we get it. You hear me, Chasquito? Desgraciado. Dirty traitor. He said he'd let us go. Don't you believe him? Serralvo. He'll betray his own mother. You're the only one around here who's kept a promise. What can we do? Wait. When you have no other choice, you wait.
Where's Pinky? Uncle Pinky! Easy there. Uncle Pink. Uh, Uncle Pink. They got me. Boy, they got me all right. A big pot was sitting there, just sitting there. I'd made a real good dinner. Father, we pray to thee to receive the soul of thy servant. What are you doing? I'm praying for him. Praying is for priests. I'm a priest. Father Jordan, if you prefer. A priest. You're a padre, huh? <laughs> What's that priest doing looking for a treasure? <laughs> that treasure was stolen from the Mission Virgin of Guadalupe. Colonel Ford and his band robbed it after the war. I'm going after it. you out of this, would you just want what was stolen from the mission and nothing else? You're not making sense. Well, if I can have the map. Then you'd murder us all, like Seraldo was trying to do. Oh, Padre, I am not a killer. I'm a good man, a man of the soil. I work in the fields. I go to church on Sunday. Now can I have the map? The decision isn't mine. The map belongs to Tommy. All right, boy. Come on. You come with me. Finish up, Mr. Robo. Why are you in such a hurry? Huh? Stop worrying. They got nothing to eat, no water. dead. Yeah. We'll 
be dead, too, pretty soon. <laughs> no water. No food. No ammunition. Nothing. I only got six rounds left. If I could get to the wagons, I could be back in two days with another man, food, and ammunition. You can't make it in two days. Anything is possible with God's help. Yes. With God, it's all right, but... You better give me the map. Seralvo might catch you. Torture you. Maybe you're right, Chess Guido. What the hell is this? I don't understand it. How do you read it? It's written in Latin. I'm the only one who can translate it. You have to make sure. Around here, if you're fool enough to trust anybody but yourself, you wind up in a grave. Right, Chess Guido? Where are you going, amigo? Hmm? I asked you where you're going. Do you need that rifle to fight me? Ah! <laughs> 
Stop snorting, stupid. Come back, Padre. We've been waiting for you. I can't believe that you're capable of this, Chas Guido. Please, Padre. No sermons, huh? Please. He and I, we are made out of the same mold. So let's come to an agreement together. Easy. Easy, boy. It's the best way. Better for you. And William? He's dead. We buried him with Uncle Pink. Oh, it was a beautiful funeral. Flowers on the grave. Two white crosses. It was beautiful. You should have been there. We missed you. What does this say? I can't make out one word of it. Now, where's that treasure? That's one question that I don't intend to answer. Oh, no? I'll make you answer. Nobody intends to give you any trouble, Padre. The map belongs to the boy. He is the one who could get in trouble. Stream leaders there? Yeah. It leads to the caves where the soldiers took refuge during a revolution. I heard Chasquido saying to Sorabo that the two of them should share the gold. Chasquido would share gold with the devil. Are you really taking them to where the treasure is hidden? I have no other choice.
What's the matter with you? You loco. He's not like you. Priests don't tell lies. I give the orders now. So where is it? According to the map, through there. down here. Every piece is solid. Finally, a mountain of solid gold. just the two of us to get rid of. Oye, muchachos! Here comes Chasquido! See, senores, I keep my word. I'm a man of honor. One chasquido from Chihuahua. 
the best damn caballero in all Mexico. There's the gold. All yours. Take it. Anda, anda! Quietos. Now, open it. I'm sorry, Padre. I had to do it. The Lord takes many roads, but there's only one road to Big Lake. I had to clear it. My way. Your usual way. Right, Chesquito? Padre, I give you $5,000, but don't ask questions. Hey, Padre, you have a lot of influence up there. Do me a favor. Tell him Juan Chasquido is not a bad man. He only kills because he doesn't want to get killed. You don't need my recommendation. You're old enough to know what's right from wrong. You must choose. Adios, Chasquido. Adios. <laughs> Adios, Chasquito. Ah! Ah! Here! Chasquito. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, it's because of the Padre. I don't need anybody. The Padre says you're getting old and you better have somebody hanging around. So you might like to have me around. You go on back to the priest. Go on. I don't need anybody. I'm a rich man now. I can have anything I want. I can play poker, I can drink tequila, I can dance, I can have any woman I want anywhere, in El Paso, in Juarez, in Nogales, in Las Cruces, anywhere. 
Yes, but I rescued the map. So by right, the gold is mine. Listen, boy. You know what happened to the man who tried to keep me away from the gold, don't you? How can I forget? Especially after your speech that time about how you'd murder a boy like me who tried just once to double-cross you. Bueno, vámonos. Vámonos a Chihuahua. Stone, a man whose life was with a lie, with a fate, with a blow. But suddenly came a good change, and he took the right way to help someone. And from that moment, he began to be a 